What's up everybody, this is Michael Jax and today as you can see on screen right now, Star Wars Episode 8 has been given a title and it is Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now before I get into what it could all mean and what I think could happen and all that stuff, I really like the title. I really really like it, I like that it's simple and plain, it's straight to the point, it's not overly long or over convoluted, it's just The Last Jedi, plain and simple. So I'm really happy they went for that route, you know, simple is always better, it's just the best way to go and there's just so much that this could mean but overall it works with what's happened in earlier movies, especially in The Force Awakens, with people trying to find Luke, Kylo Ren and all that, trying to get him, so it works with all that stuff. And also it sounds really, really cool, it's a really cool, awesome sounding title, which could have so much around it and just so much going on, and what it could mean. Now to what it does actually mean and what it could be going for and all that stuff, and there's so many theories galore after this got dropped, and you know, the kind of main ones on that, The Last Jedi just means Luke, he's just going, hey, Luke's The Last Jedi, and his own little island there, just being the last Jedi, which he technically is, you know, he's the last person to get trained like that, he's the last, you know, full on Jedi who gets called that and stuff like that, so it could just mean Luke, just Luke, and there you go, last Jedi, or not, nah, the last Jedi could mean Rey, like it'd be like, Luke will train her, he'll pass on the reins, and she'll be the last Jedi, you know, because it just could just mean it's the last time a Jedi gets trained by a master, gets trained that way, gets trained in the force in that certain area and all that stuff, and then Rey will take it on and, you know, change it and do it on her own way, or it means Luke dies. Real hope it doesn't mean that because it's Luke, you know, we want him to stay on screen forever and not die in Star Wars, but it would make sense. He's in 9 anyway, so we'll see him again, but that could just be as a force ghost. So they could kill him in this movie, he could do a sacrifice to Rey and all that, kind of pull on Obi-Wan and all that stuff. So, you know, it could mean he dies. I hope he doesn't, but you know, he could snuff it in this movie. He might just have to deal with that. He might just have to deal with everybody from the original trilogy will be dead in the movies by the end of episode 9, which will be sad, but, you know, it might just have to happen. Now, if you look at it on screen right now, you'll see that the title is red, that Star Wars in red writing, not yellow, which has always been the norm, it's always been yellow, so what does that mean? Could that mean something? Could that mean it's more of a darker movie, or dark side base, which I think would be really, really cool, or I'm thinking, and something that would be a big twist or a big holy shit moment, would be that maybe the red symbolising dark side, maybe Rey falls to the dark side, and I think that would be a big twist when, you know, say Luke trains her, trains her in the ways of the Force, like a Jedi and all that stuff, and then she meets Snow and he starts messing with her mind and all that, and then she falls to the dark side. How much of a kick in the balls would that be for Luke, who trained people beforehand, and one of his students when evil went to the dark side and killed them all, and that is now Kylo Ren. What if that happened again? He trains someone else, and all that, you know, he gets over what happened before, trains her, and then it happens all over again. What a big kick in the face that would be. Men will just flip it, so she'll go bad, and Kylo Ren will turn good at the end of it. Something like that. I think that'd be a cool little twist if Rey falls to the dark side. That would be a big moment in those movies, you know, might not be expecting in this movie. So maybe in the red means more dark side things and maybe Ray falling on the dark side. I think it'd be really, really cool. But overall, I really like the title. I think it works. The Last Jedi is a really cool, awesome sounding thing. And at least we can now stop speculating on what the film was going to be called. And now speculation of what it means will go on for all year. Oh god, the speculation. All the speculation! <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I really like the title. I think it's great. There's so much they could go with it. You know, dark side stuff. Ray being the Last Jedi, Luke dying. You know, there's so much they could do with this. But yeah, I really really like the title, I think it's great, so I'm going to leave the video here guys, so if you like the video, rock out on that like button, leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts on the title, if you like it, hate it, wish it was something else, and what it could all mean, you know, what's going to happen, is Luke going to die, is Rey going to be the last Jedi, you know, whatever you think it's going to be, leave that down below and I'll get back to you guys, and also don't forget to subscribe as it does, really really help me out guys, so thank you guys so much for watching, and for your support, I love you guys, and stay tuned for the next video. <laughs>